So Tom, uh, wasn't a result we wanted on Saturday, but that doesn't really matter at the end of the day, does it, considering what happened to the Parish family? Um, no, not at all. I think it puts football into perspective in general. Um, I think the, the break, the incident that happened, uh, I think everyone knew it was quite serious that the longer and longer it went on. And when we came back on the pitch, we didn't, we didn't know what the outcome was or what had happened. Um, but you kind of had an idea, like it was quite serious. So like after the game, everyone was saying like, do you know what I mean? But, but, but straight after the game, we, did, we didn't know and no one told us and that we only found out basically when we got home and yeah, it kind of, kind of hit hard. Like I remember the group chat was like, do you know what I mean? A bit devastated and, and, and upset. So um, I've never been involved in anything like that. Um, yeah, it was quite surreal, but yeah. Um, then those that was, was with him at, at the game, yeah, just, Heart goes out to them. And you spoke to Paul's daughter, Claire, who had put up a beautiful tribute to her dad on Twitter. Um, to have the strength to find those words is quite something, isn't it? It is so soon as well. Like, um, kind of took me back. I remember seeing it um, at home and I was like, wow, it's, it's the same day. And she's replying. And um, a lot of fans are, are speaking to her and in touch with her. And from, by the sounds of it, he sounded like a massive Fulham fan, obviously, and quite and quite loved and is in the hammy end. And, um, he was where he loved to be and where he, where he was a lot of his life. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just crazy. But yeah, Claire, Claire showed amazing strength, really. And your whole family is football mad, as is the case with a lot of people that come to Craven Cottage. Do you think that's kind of why it's hit people particularly hard? The fact that many people tend matches with their brothers, sisters, mums, dads? Yeah, because it's... It's, it's it's a family thing, isn't it? It's, it's what you enjoy, it's what you love, it's what you do on weekends, it's what you pay pay money for, save up. Um, so yeah, I think so, and, and I think it makes you like oh, there's so many families at the game. You could, you could be anyone. Do you know what I mean, like you never just out of the blue it happened. Like you just relate that to yourself and your dad or your sister, your mom, whatever. Um, so yeah, you just put yourself in that position and. Um, yeah, it's, it's awful, awful. But I think the, the hammy in general was, was brilliant. Um, I remember being on the pitch and I, I, I don't know if I seen it first. I've I, I seen it quite early and I, and I was trying to get the rest of saying, look, this is clearly something going on. We need to, we need to stop the game. And yeah, they, their reaction was fantastic. You and the boys paid off tribute on social media as just thousands of fans. Um, it can sound like a cliche when we say we're a family club, but that really is the case here, isn't it? No, 100 million percent. Yeah, massive family club. Um, I think that's one of the best things about Fulham. So um, I think some clubs might say the family clubs, but I've not seen much more and more family club than Fulham. So um, yeah, he's definitely part of the Fulham family, and uh, yeah, it's just just one of them things in in life that you don't expect and is is hard to deal with. But um, I think the team, players, staff, everyone, and the club in general, like any help that that family needs, we need to we need to give them. And speaking of family, Dennis Adoy has obviously left now, part of the furniture here at Fulham for five and a half years. Um, how big a role did he play here at Fulham? Huge. Um, it was with, like I was there one season before him. So yeah, he arrived. That new, The first game was Newcastle in that famous trick. Um, but no, he, he was a massive, massive part of, of Fulham's success, kind of getting Fulham back on the map. Um, it gave his all every day in training, every day in matches. I think that was obvious to see. He was a good, good person to have around the building. Never seen him too down, really, regardless of what was going on. Um, and yeah, just I think everyone remember that header in the semi final. Um, but yeah, just an all round great professional, um, hard worker. And yeah, it's a long time. It's a long time at a club, especially this day and age. So um, it's a shame, I think, he probably didn't get the send off he deserved. Um, but yeah, I've seen a lot of things on social media about him and stuff like that. So no, he's, he should be very, very proud of his time, time at Fulham. So um, yeah, just good luck to him and his family in the future and his four kids. And you mentioned a couple there, but what are your favourite Dennis memories? Uh, the head has got to be number one, 100%, because that, was, that took us to Wembley for the first time. So that's definitely number one. Um, celebrations were decent. Uh, Crossbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, yeah, the crossbar, the crossbar. Um, yeah, there's a few, and he's, he's a quirky individual, and he's a little bit different to, to other people. So, yeah, he'll be, he'll be definitely missed, I think, by a lot of Fulham fans. 
And yesterday um, it came out that we've got five players nominated for the London Football uh, Awards. Um, how big a statement and kind of credit is that to the squad that we've got that many names in the in the hat? Yeah, huge. It just shows you what kind of season we've had. Um, yeah, five five's incredible. So um, hopefully we'll get one winner out of that, but we'll, but we'll see. But it just shows you, yeah, it's testament to what we've done this season and yeah, long may that continue. And just look ahead to Saturday now, it's the country's top goal scorers in us against the fourth top scorers in Man City. Uh, it's looking like a good cup tie. Nil-nil then. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, to, to say you're the top goal scorers in the country is crazy. So yeah, we should be definitely proud of that. And um, yeah, I think we've got to go there. Look, it's the hardest game of the season by a mile. It's the hardest game of the season for anyone. In my opinion, they're the best team in the country by a mile. Arguably the best in Europe at, at the minute. Um, and regardless of who they play, I mean, the, the bench is just as good as the starting eleven, kind of. So... Um, it's going to be a big test but I think we've got to go there and, and play our game we can't shrink we can't hide um, we've got to do what we did all season and look to score look to try and play our way and, and create chances and score goals so as hard as that will be that's yeah so an FA Cup at the end of the day there's probably been bigger shocks than Fulham beating Man City over the years and they're obviously top of the Prem playing some great stuff one of the best teams in Europe as you mentioned um, but this is the kind of game that we want to be competing in every week isn't it how much do you look forward to this one? Yeah, it is. That's why we want to get to Premier League and back, hopefully back to the Premier League um, to be involved in these these fixtures week in, week out. But um, yeah, you look forward to it because you're playing against the the world's best players and um, who wouldn't want to, to be in that environment? I mean, great stadium, nice pitch. And um, yeah, it's, it's something you definitely look forward to.